The State Forest is such an incredibly strange, beautiful story, and to me, it's right smack in the middle of what you do that I love, which is to say, in terms of style and, and, and the way it's canted, initially you sort of think it might be a realistic story, and then somewhere it goes wildly afoul of your <laughs> expectations. So I want to know a little bit, how does such a story get generated? How soon do you know that it's going to go wildly afoul? What's the process in a story like that? That's, that's a, um, that story is one of the more recent ones, and they're all the product of the past few years of my life, which have been, as you know, somewhat difficult, and I've had to look at the world a little bit differently. Um, and it's, uh, we used to live, um, you remember my wife and I got married at Carl Schurz, Carl Schurz Park. Um, I had a health scare a few years ago, and uh, I've just been playing through my head all these uh, alternative ways I could have gone. Um, because I've had a lot of lives before this one that also <laughs> tended to go off in strange directions. I've been alive now through things that I probably should have died from over and over again. And I wanted to com create a composite at a certain point where the story starts to break up of all the different possibilities that aren't my life. And I have to tell you, like, I'm so... Uh, the stories are pretty dark in this, but you'd never know it if you knew me because I'm absolutely thrilled to be alive. I'm, I'm thrilled to be alive. Uh, that story was, uh, also part of the composite was when I married, um, when we married in Carl Shears Park, uh, the wedding program, is that what you call it? What do you call it? The thing? Let's we'll say it's a wedding program. We'll just say it's a wedding <laughs> program. <laughs> had a poem, a poem that's traveled with me my whole, uh, since back in Boston when I was very young, going to undergraduate, I got turned on to this, um, this poem, this James Schuyler poem called Elizabethans Call It Dying. And I can't say the title without getting weirdly choked up. Um, it's just this absolutely beautiful poem that I first read when I was living in the Fenway, in the Fens of Boston, you know? Had no idea I would ever live in New York. And it's set around Carl Schurz Park, and it's presumably the narrator and his lover walking through that entire neighborhood where we had our wedding. Um, just talking to each other, and that's where uh, I think I'd have an Episcopalian service. Big church, doleful bells. I took that straight from Skyler. Um, so I guess in a weird way, it was a, it's a love letter to my wife. And at a certain point, the, those fragments made sense together. You know, it's that idea that, you, that sometimes words aren't going to work the right way. <laughs> so you have to sort of, you know, jury-rig them a bit. So you're saying the shape of the piece was was in your was in the planning stages. You knew it would have this unusual shape from the outset. Yeah, and then it's full of little uh, <clears throat> yes. Um, <clears throat> the uh, Ward's Island Bridge is this strange little little bridge that just goes. You see the triboro like right behind it. We call it the RFK now. Right, the, right, yeah, it's been a while, yes. Right, the RFK. There's just this little spindly thing that goes across the water that just looks crazy, and I guess you can kind of like go up it. And you know, we haven't lived there in so long, and so it was, there's a sort of composite thing. But even like, um, a wild kiss that fly with the birds on their wings, the moon on their wings. Um, my daughter, that's her favorite song. And so I threw that in. And there, there's something about the, the idea of falling, um, the actual descent in that story is very, uh, that's realism as far as I'm concerned. There's, there's something to that that feels very real, you know. That's a weird one though. I write, I can write a decent social realism story. <laughs> no? <laughs> there aren't any? You have to think about that. But wait, let's just hang on this okay, for a right. second, just for a second. I'm glad you're hanging on this, because I never talk about these, you know. Yeah, so I want to talk, this is a room full of writers, writerly types. I want to talk about the craft issues a little bit. Yes. So this is such an unusual piece. What problems are presented in the revision part of a work like this in order to get it to cohere? I mean, it's coming from such, such um, 
an unusual place, and there's the real chance that it could, you know, run off the tracks and be too strange. What what happens? How do you how do you shape the material so that it does what it needs to? You know what it is? It's just revision and, and like the fifth revision going. That's the stupidest thing I've ever said. <laughs> and you cut it, and then you keep going. Like that's okay today. Maybe I'll see. And and it's it's this constant additive reductive process. I had a whole passage in it, for instance, that was um, traveling back to when I was a kid, this Christmas time when I went down the stairs, and it just didn't work. It didn't feel right. But, you know, it might be that just musically it wasn't right. I, I, um, there's a great deal of thought put in these. I don't write these things like that. You know.